Hi everyone, this is Shane Armin Rowe, and today I'm going to show you an amazing tool that will help you get the most out of Valheim, the open world procedurally generated survival game. If you're familiar with Valheim, you'll know that the worlds are built on the fly. Every time you play the game and start a new game, you get a new seed. This seed value is what actually generates your world. If we were to go into the world that I'm currently playing, So if I go to my in-game map, you can see all of the world that I've currently traversed. You can see me reaching out to other worlds by taking a boat and trying to find certain key elements of the game, such as a boss known as Bone Mass. Finding Bone Mass was one of the things that led me to looking at this new tool to help me better find maybe a Bone Mass that wasn't so far away, that didn't require me go through the plains, which... Uh, unless you're very, very high up and you have great gear, you get slaughtered. So you can see if I zoom all the way out what the world looks like for me. And as you can see, I have really not explored that much of the world. Um, while I've played for probably 100 hours on this game, uh, there are still pieces of even the world I've explored that I don't have a full map of yet. When you're trying to find the next boss uh, or you're trying to find a sign that will tell you where the next boss is, or sometimes you find a boss that is just way too far away, there may be closer bosses uh, of the same type that you could probably get to easier. In fact, my bone mass that I finally ended up fighting was here, which has no planes around it, which made it a lot easier for me to play. Uh, and in fact, even the merchant, which can be nearly impossible to find, uh, in fact, I'm trying to figure out where my merchant is here. Um, it's been a while since I visited. You really need the merchant in order to uh, get a belt that allows you to carry more stuff, right? And so finding that merchant is sort of a priority. And you could sail all over the place trying to find a merchant and not be able to get a hold of him. My merchant's right here, the little uh, bag here. Uh, so it was very difficult for me to find that merchant. In fact, I'd done all this other work before I managed to find the merchant. So with that being said, knowing that um, your games all have a particular seed that creates the map for you, it would seem prudent that somebody would create a tool that would allow you to take one of these seeds and see the entire world, maybe even what secrets it holds. And that, my friends, is exactly what this tool that we're going to show you today does. The Valheim World Generator. So the Valheim World Generator allows you to enter your seed here and generate a full map. We're going to generate a random map now before we look at mine. And this takes a while. I am not on a virtual machine. So uh, what you're seeing is definitely, uh, it, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of heavy lifting. But here is what an entire Valheim world looks like. This is where you would spawn. And if you remember my map, I have somewhere in this area of stuff that I've, I've viewed. So not only does it let you see the land masses, but as you zoom in closer, you can actually see the individual biomes, the swamp, the mountain, the plains, the dark forest, the meadows, and of well, as well as some of the unfinished biomes on the outside uh, of the map north and south. So this is great. I mean, unfortunately, it shows you the whole map. So if what you're looking to do is explore, um, what this is really good for in this case is seeing if the next island you go to is filled with planes. So if I were looking to go to this next landmass, I was over here and I wanted to just pop overseas here and explore this island. If I'm not prepared, landing in the plains is probably going to get me killed. So in some cases, you just sort of want to understand what the biomes look like. And you can flip the map into sort of a heat map and get a good idea if the area that you're going to is suitable for your current rank and, and level of character. So that's one way you could use this without, quote, quote, cheating. Obviously, if you have this seed, then all of these visible locations, including where are the bosses, where's the trader, uh, the, bo the boss stones themselves that will tell you where the bosses are. Surely, just knowing where the boss stones are doesn't quite cheat as much as knowing where the bosses are, right? Let me flip back over to a full terrain map. 
And let's take a look at what this might mean. If I need to see where the bosses are, all of the bosses in the game are now shown to me in their exact location. So if I'm getting ready to try to find Mortar, which, by the way, I had a lot of trouble in my current game finding Mortar because I was unable to find the stones that tell me where Mortar was. These stones, and you can see that as your these things require calculations, and it actually does take a period of time for it to chew through there. Um, however, if you save your map locally, which we're going to see in a minute, uh, some of these processes become a lot faster. So the boss stones tell you where the bosses are, but you have to find the boss stones is to find the bosses unless you happen to run across them. So just being able to say, hey, where are the stones at? If I wanted to find motor, then chances are likely I'm going to have to find a stone that's inside the mountain. So either one of any of these mountain, well, probably not that, but any of these mountain regions would be helpful. So this would probably be my closest to the spawn that I could actually find motor. And maybe I've already explored this island and uh, I just never ran across it. Now I know for a fact that there is a boss stone there and I can go find it. And then that will tell me where motor is. And in this case, if I were to grab, if I have touched this stone, it would have found the closest motor, which would be here. So this is very helpful. If, you've, if you're frustrated, if you've spent dozens of hours trying to find the next boss, this is a great tool. Now, what about the trader? Now, in this particular seed, the trader is very close, right? Within one, if, in fact, the trader is actually on the same continent that you spawn on. That doesn't always happen. I've seen maps where the trader is in these outer rings, that is deep, deep, deep in the bowels of the plains, you're not going to get to the trader quickly, uh, which gives you your, uh, your belt that allows you to buy a belt that will give you uh, superhuman strength, which lets you carry more, which lets you progress through the game uh, quicker. So the trader is really important, but if your seed, for example, this is a great seed here, I got to write this one down, uh, the trader is close by. Other seeds, not so much. And I'll show you where my trader is uh, on my map when I bring mine up in a minute. There's also things like where are the treasures, where are the leviathans, where are the camps, the tombs, all of these sort of crucial things. The Droger villages are a suicide run if you run into them by accident uh, while you're exploring. So if I were to click on here, uh, you, it's very easy to run into one of these guys and not realize it. And if you're not well prepared, it's a good chance that the Drugger Village will take you down before you get away. So these are all helpful tools, especially if you've progressed further in the game and you're sort of looking to explore further. Um, tar Pits. This is very, very valuable right here with the Hearth and Home expansion. And I'll tell you why. Uh, the Tar Pits have these growth creatures these growth creatures are formidable foes. In fact, I think they're the scariest creature I've encountered in the game so far. Even if you're well armored and you're, you're good to go, the growths are a force to be reckoned with. And if you look, if you're exploring, uh, and you're barely strong enough to survive the plains and you run into a couple of these uh, tar pits, you're probably going to die. So that's a very helpful thing to have. That's what I'm experiencing now currently in my game. So, so one of the neat things you can do is I mentioned you could save your uh, world, and I've already saved mine. I've made it a favorite, my current world. And this saves it to your browser, which is really, really cool. So I can bring that up, and instead of having to go through all the endless calculations, I can click on bosses and they instantly appear. My traders instantly appear. Uh, boss stones instantly appear. Uh, things that I haven't calculated yet will still take time. But you might also see that I have some um, overlays here, which are custom pins. You do get these inside of, of the game itself, inside of Valheim, but they're very, very primitive and basic. What you can do once you've saved your world to your browser, you can actually create new custom points that has a considerable number of icons. You can use longer text, have tool tips, uh, change colors, right? So you can do all sorts of cool things like uh, maybe this is the tar pit, right? That you, well, there's a tar pit one right there. Um, but if you want to put down uh, new stuff, right? You want to mark where a dragon egg might be. And you want to do this all on your own. This is an extended map tool. Uh, if you want to put a village on the screen. So we'll put, uh, we'll put uh, a basic, uh, let's see, where's a good house? 
right? So I can say new base uh, C, whatever, and uh, we want we don't want it to be. We can change the color a little bit, and now I have uh, I now have this on my map for future reference. You'll also notice that it's giving coordinates as I move around the map. Your spawn starts you off here, and then as you move around, your base is located here, etc., etc. There is a teleportation system if you cheat in Valheim and turn on the cheat console that will allow you to jump to any coordinate. So perhaps you died while making a terrible planes run over here, and uh, you just want to teleport over, grab your body, and head for the hills. This teleportation system, uh, cheat, I should say, uh, you'll need the coordinates, and this is the easiest way that I know to get the coordinates of where you want to beam to. So a couple of other little goodies um, before we tidy this up. I mean, a lot of people are going to look at this as a cheat tool. I look at it as an additional tool to help your quality of life, and how much you exploit it is completely up to you. I found it to be a great tool. The last thing I want to show you about it is being able to download that map. So you can actually download a high resolution image of the current visible map layer with these selected markers. So if I download this map now, uh, I can save it off and I don't have to open this browser window. I can simply maybe save this uh, image to my phone. Uh, I could put it on a tablet so that I could use it as a companion piece. I don't know why it's not downloading, of course. Uh, just when you're doing it. It takes a while, huh? There's also a data package, and I haven't downloaded the data package to see what that's all about. Um, I'm curious, though, but it says you may require programming expertise in order to read it. So let me save that map off. I see my other ones are coming in. And if I were to bring that map up, you can see even that new one that I added, the base C, is available. So I could copy this down to my tablet or to my phone and use this as a companion piece when I'm adventuring out here in the areas where I might end up landing on, you know, a tar-filled <laughs> a tar-filled island um, that might end up getting me dead. So listen, I hope you appreciate uh, taking a look at this. I think this is a really neat tool. I'm really glad that it's here. They do accept some PayPal donations. I threw the guy a couple of bucks to sort of keep this online. Um, I, I've already used it to try to help me um, help me navigate and to find a missing boss that I couldn't find. Um, I, I searched for hours and hours and hours and I finally got fed up. Because the worlds are procedurally generated, um, you can't just look up a, a, a cheat or a walkthrough and say, hey, where's motor at? Well, it depends on what your seed is. Now you can use your seed to find the world and find motor or whoever it is else you may be missing. So pretty neat stuff here. Um, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Hit the little bell. It all helps out the channel. And uh, thanks again so much for watching. I'm Shane Armonroe. Until next time, take care.